I welcome you to this presentation of the paper, Perfect Trees, Designing Energy Efficient Symmetric Encryption Primitives, originally appearing at FSC 2022. This is a joint work of Andrea Caforio, Subari Panik, Yosuke Tolu, Willy Meyer, Takanori Izobi, Fu Kang Yu, and Bing Zhang. The energy consumption of cryptographic algorithms in hardware is a key aspect when it comes to their integration into low resource environments. This fact is further supported by the ongoing NIST lightweight cryptography standardization process in which energy consumption is one of the selection criteria. The cryptographic literature features a handful of works that investigate the energy consumption landscape of hardware ciphers. Trailblazers in this regard were the papers by Kerkhoff in 2012 and Batina in 2013, both of which benchmark various block ciphers in hardware with a particular focus on energy. In 2016, Banek devised an energy model for R round unrolled block ciphers as a quasi quadratic equation, where big R denotes the total number of rounds in the block cipher and the constants encode various circuit aspects. In 2018, Banek identified stream ciphers as the most suitable choice when it comes to the encryption of larger quantities of data. In particular, among the investigated stream ciphers, Trivium outperformed all other schemes, including supposedly efficient block ciphers. Nevertheless, those results were observational in nature, and a comprehensive energy model for stream ciphers remained at large. In our work, we will fill this gap and in the process propose a straightforward recipe for designing energy optimal hardware stream ciphers. It is important to note that the reason why a heuristic energy model for stream cipher is harder to conceive is due to the high degrees of R, which enormously complicate the underlying algebraic expressions and thus their study. In contrast, for block ciphers, R is usually relatively small. Spelling out our contributions, we devised the first heuristic energy model in the realm of stream ciphers that links the algebraic topology of the update function to the consumptive behavior, which is applicable to a wide range of trivium-like, grain-like, and subterranean-like constructions. A building block of our energy model is re-implementing all round unrolled trivium by tessellating the update function strands into individual circuits, which yields a more gradual and slower power consumption increase with respect to the unrolling degree. This then provides a natural sack for our energy model. Secondly, we leverage this model and propose a new energy optimal stream ciphers in the Trivium family that reduce the energy consumption by up to 25% compared to the original specification. More importantly, however, for the first time, it is now possible to design stream ciphers that specifically optimize for energy. Power slash energy consumption in semiconductor circuits is due to two main sources. Static, this is leakage current and other currents drawn continuously from the power source. And dynamic, charge and discharge of load capacitances, i.e. zero to one and one to zero transitions. Power is the rate of energy consumption. In other words, energy is approximately equal to the product of the average power and the execution time which is simply the time integral over the power. By this logic, 
the energy consumption should be independent of the actual clock frequency. A fast clock leads to a smaller execution time, but higher average power. And analogously, a slow clock increases the execution time, but yields a lower power consumption. Let us now transition to the meat of the paper. The trivium update function consists of three independent logic blocks, T1, T2, and T3, tapped from the state register X1 to X288. We define each individual logic block as a strand of the following form, A plus B plus C times D plus E. A feature-rich library with three pin linear cells can implement one strand with three gates, one two input NAND, one two input XOR, and one three input XNOR. Hence, the entire Trivium combinatorial layer then consists of 10 gates, three strands, and one three input XOR for the key bit generation. We investigated several circuits and compilation directives supported by the Synopsys design compiler. Regular, a run of the mill synthesis of the entire circuit that leads it up to the tool to map the individual entities into valid circuits. Ultra, a high effort routine that optimizes circuit area while not respect respecting entity boundaries. And finally, restricted where each update function strand is synthesized individually using free gates as mentioned before above. We observed that the restricted mode outperformed other directives, moving the point of optimality to, to R equals 288. In Bonnick's paper from 20, 2018, the optimal degree of unrolling was reported at R equals to 160 using the regular synthesis tool option. This trend is clearly seen in the following example using the 19 nanometer TSMC cell library. Plotted is the energy consumption for the encryption of 1.28 million bits of data. For all three synthesis directors, different unrolling degrees of R and clock frequencies. Having established that Trivium benefits from a restricted compilation approach in which each state, each update function strand is synthesized individually, let us investigate this avenue more thoroughly. It is not hard to see that we can recursively enumerate the strands for each unrolling degree R, namely T1 of R, T2 of R, and T3 of R. Recall that in the fully unrolled setting, i.e. when R is equal to 288, there are three times 288 equals 864 strands. Each of them is composed of three logic gates of their synthesis. And so it is relatively straightforward to measure the power consumption of each strand. Plotted are the singled out power measurements for each strand Ti of R, using the TSMC 19 nanometer cell library. Intuitively, we would expect the power in the strands to increase monotonously with R as in block ciphers, but the figure clearly should, suggests that the increase is far from monotonous. The red data points represent the strands whose power consumption experiences a sudden dip. This phenomenon also occurs for different cell libraries, such as non-gate 15 nanometer or UMC 65 nanometer, and is thus inherent to the structure of, of the restricted unrolled trivium circuit. Why is this? A first observation is the fact that all T1 of R for one for R bigger equal one, smaller equal 66 consume the same power until T1 of 67, whose power consumption is considerably larger. 
all inputs to T1 of R for R e bigger equal one, smaller equal 66, come directly from the register. Thus, in some sense, their input nodes are all at the distance zero from the register. However, one of the inputs of T1 of 67 comes from the output of T3 of 1, and thus not all its inputs are at distance zero from the register. This delay in balance, the input wires, gives rise to more glitches in the internal circuitry of T1 of 67, and thus hints at one of the reasons why it consumes more. Further consider the boundary around R equals to 93. At R equals to 94, the power consumption of T1 of 94 drops. It is easy to see that all the inputs of T1 of 94 are at the distance 2 from the register, whereas the inputs of T1 93 are still imbalanced with respect to the delay from the register. It appears that depth-balanced strands consume less power than unbalanced ones. More formally, the circuit strands are connected naturally in a well-defined graphical topology. Each unrolled strand can be translated into a 5 array tree with the root node as the output bit, whose subtrees are other unrolled strand trees or leaf nodes. Let capital TI of R be the five array unrolled strand tree corresponding to the unrolled strand equation TI of R. The child nodes of the strand capital TI of R are therefore all the five nodes capital TJ of U for which the corresponding terms TJ of U are present in its recursive definition from before. To make the link between unrolled strand equations and their respective trees clear, we give three examples of varying complexity. Displayed are the unrolled strand trees, capital T3 of 1, capital T3 of 100, and capital T3 of 200. We say that a perfect m array tree is a tree in which all non-leaf nodes have m children and all leaf nodes are at the same depth. The unrolled strand trees in Trivium are five area, capital T3 of one and capital T3 of 200 are perfect unrolled strand trees, while capital T3 of 100 is imperfect due to having leaf nodes at different depths. Clearly capital T1 of 66, capital T1 of 94 were perfect trees, whereas capital T1 of 67 and capital T1 of 93 were not. A strand evidently consumes less power if the node it occupies in the circuit graph houses a perfect tree. In the baseline trivium design, there are 339 perfect unrolled strand trees, thus less than half of all trees. This raises the question of what happens when the tab positions of Trivium are altered in such a way as to obtain, obtain configurations that yield more perfect unrolled strand trees. Plotted is the power consumption of several hundred Trivium-like constructions that differ from the original specification in the position of their nine tabs using the UMC 65 nanometer cell library. The tendency of higher number of perfect unrolled strand trees with respect to the power consumption is clearly demarcated. Having established a strong correlation between the power slash energy consumption of random trivium instances and their corresponding total number of perfect unrolled strand trees, we can commence to look for potential trivium-like derivatives with different tab positions that consume less energy. The SERP space for all potential tab positions is too large to feel fully enumerate. Hence, we limit the candidate space as follows. All linear tab positions 
are chosen from a multiple of three, as was the case in the original trivium construction. The location of the nonlinear tabs are not a multiple of three. The leftmost tab of each register is at least at position 60, 64 to ensure easy parallelization until r equals to 64. These three filtering criteria allow us to reduce the number of candidates to roughly 2 to the power 25. Out of all those potential candidate constructions, we picked two promising energy efficient trivium replacements. Trivium LEF. This design features 495 perfect trees and an equivalent security level as the baseline trivium specification. It reduces the overall energy consumption by 15%. Trivium LES with 665 perfect trees. This design reduces the energy consumption by 25% across different cell libraries at a cost of more initialization runs to reach a comparable security level with Trivium LEF. Both proposals stand as the current most efficient symmetric encryption primitives known in the literature. Depicted is the register structure of Trivium LEF. Note that the individual sizes of the registers are more balanced than in Trivium, which is a good heuristic to obtain more perfect unrolled strand trees. Further note that the placement of the leftmost tabs is shifted towards the middle of the register to allow for more perfect unrolled strand trees of depth one. Perfect tree phenomenon translates seamlessly to other existing Trivium-like string ciphers. Trivium MB, the Trivium Tweak proposed by Maximov and Biryukov. Trivia, a Trivium-like cipher with a state of 384 bits. Cravium, the stream cipher by Kanto, proposed for efficient homomorphic encryption. And Triad SC, a former first round NIST LWC candidate. Our model is even extendable to non trivium like designs and ciphers that follow the crane or subterranean philosophies. In retrospect, in this paper, we proposed the first heuristic energy model for stream ciphers applicable to a wide range of constructions. Our model opens the door for the design of future energy efficient stream cipher designs. Meanwhile, we propose two new energy optimal trivium like stream ciphers that consume 15 and 25% less energy than the baseline specification. <laughs>